Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and I'm back with another Fate Grand Order video. Today, finally actually playing the game after finally catching up to what I needed to, which was the Liz story. Finally finished it. It wasn't actually that hard to complete, but it was a lot of reading, and it took me a while to get reading it, because I've been very busy as I've been preparing for my trip and a lot of other stuff, such as the 13 Nights of Halloween, which is actually starting, and uh, by the time you hear this video, depending on when you see it, there should it should start the the 13 days of <laughs> releasing Halloween themed videos. But anyway, for today's video, it's technically Halloween themed. I'm gonna go in here and do this one. As you can see here, I already did the plus plus one, and I need to figure out some more. Uh, I need to look at it a lot more. I was able to power through it using Summer Abuki over here, but that's clear. There's there has to be a better way to completely clear it. But, you know, I'll get there when I get there. So for right now, I'm going to be doing this one, because, but... If you don't know, actually, doing, I think, both of these, um... At the same time, you get the equivalent of everything being the same. And this is what I'm currently going with right now. Uh... Oh, should I get a different thing? This one gives increase to boost of certain things. Maybe go here? Oh, I literally can't because of the, t the team I'm using. So anyway, that's going to be today's video, and I'm just going to go in here and play for a bit. So, jump right in. Yeah, I'm going to try and figure out what to do for that later stage. I feel like I have the middle portion figured out, but I have to get my Liz powered up from where she currently is. I still need to get the last two MP copies. And then look into getting um, her fully outfitted. This is also a little bit silly, but it's okay. Summer Boogie doesn't care about that when she's MP5. Which is also the reason why I was able to power through and do the other one. And you can also see the team has backups in case I never... I don't get enough of what I need, basically. But it should be fine. Uh, she gets plenty of MP from here. I love, personally, not thinking about my team build at all and just going... You know what? I'm pretty sure Summer Buki at MP5 can literally power through this, <laughs> and it'll be fine. As you can see here, with 50% return on that, easy enough. Oh, and there's even a single one here? That's funny. Uh, she can take this one out. Can she even take this one out without using her MP? Probably could, but it's fine. I'll go here. And she'll blast through it. This one seems a little bit easier to actually use single target, like a, like a core team of some kind. I could probably use some dudes in a core team to take this down if I was thinking ahead of time. 30% return? Oh no! What will I do? Smugglers of Troy, hello. Go here. Go here. And then swap him out for over here. Actually, I don't even need to use Oberon. I can use her. Cause she gives 20%. It'd be hilarious if she didn't and I actually got that completely wrong. And you know what, just for the fun of it, I'm going to give you the suck as well. There we go. And I could use every single one of these Noble Fanta- actually I can. I can and I will. Damn it. So I can see a bunch of NPs play at, <laughs> at a single time. Screw efficiency, this event is still around for like another week or two. So yeah. A lot of stuff. I'm really excited to be going on my trip, by the way. I forgot to ask this at the beginning of it, but I've already put up a post there, and, you know, two people left a question there. But I'm planning on releasing a video talking about some specific questions that I get asked a lot. Because while I'm gone, I'm not actually going to be able to answer a lot of people's questions, and I really do like answering people's questions when they need help. Um, so I'm putting together a guide of a lot of the questions. I get, I get about a new question every three days or so. Sometimes it's a little bit more if randomly the YouTube video gets picked up on an algorithm and then a bunch of influx of new people will come in and ask like, Hey, how do you do this or that? And what should I do for here? And I usually like helping them out so they can get started and be on their way. But because of how I'm not going to be here for about a week, I'm not going to be able to do that. So I figure in a single video... Try and address as many questions as I get, and then if you have a question yourself that you want to ask me before I go, you can feel free to ask that as well, and I'll answer whatever question you may have. It doesn't have to be Fago related. Most of them will be Fago related, <laughs> but if you want to ask me about whatever, I'll gladly talk to you about whatever. If you can't tell, just based off of the very many videos that I do, I just like talking in general. I, I do a lot of talking, which is funny because I don't really think of myself as a 
as a talk guy, but I think it's delusional to not at least acknowledge. But yeah, yeah I, I really do be talking a lot. There we go. Slap him up real quick. Hit him with the cheerleader. Need sacrifice. It really is a shame that in this specific instance she isn't in the cheerleader match. She doesn't have to be. But I understand why it's not. Um, it's, I still would like to see her in it though. Justice for it. So a 100% crit. Could she kill without having to do the Noble Phantasm? Let's find out. And if she does end up doing it, she'll be powered up just a little bit more. Close! If she had a little bit more crit damage, or if I used a little bit more attack of some kind, she, she definitely would have been able to. This would give her just a little bit more attack, but it's not going to help. She should still get back like 30%. I don't think the number changes all that much when you do stuff like this. Yeah, give him the summer heat. Even though we're not in summer anymore, we're officially in October, baby. Yeah, 32. There you go, baby. 2% extra increase, let's go. Oh, this would have been a great, great portion of cards for the other dude. But unfortunately, that's not how it went. Go here. Give her a little summer delight. Give her a little boost. And I don't need to use her noble phantasm here. I'll just do a basic hit. No fuss, no muss. Just hit him with everything you got, girl. Which is a lot of power. Up in there. Yeah, not bad, not bad, not bad. Not bad. Could definitely be higher, but I'm, I'm, I'm satisfied either way. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm glad she was able to power through that. Um, that plus plus one because I was trying to think of like who could I potentially use here and the team build makes a lot of sense because I need to hit someone with a single target on the first one and then hit them on the other one and maybe the the answer is maybe I should be using a little bit more crit stars to get there and I think that might actually be the answer um, because the team that worked most effective for me was the in the previous plus plus one, it wasn't a team, it was a multi-core team, but it was one that was focused on crit damage, and that was really helpful in getting it done. But I had help in that Himiko was a bonus servant there, so she was able to do a lot of bonus damage. Good summer. Here we go. And let's get you revved up and ready. <laughs> Slap these dudes down. Two cards here, so what are the chances of her getting a single card in the next one? Not very good. But, we'll see. In theory, she could get all three. And if she did get all three, that'd be amazing. Because I think that with all three, she could take down the dude in the second one, no problem. And of course, she doesn't. All good. I didn't want them anyway. I hear it makes the candy taste horrible. Uh, go here, here. He's cast story is not gonna fight, so I may as well try and use a mighty chain for whatever reason. Waves, rain comes, agitating life. The Buki no Mi Kami surging waves. Slaps in the face. 27%! No, that's devastating. That ruins everything. It ruins Christmas. Because now it means I have to bring it over on. And he will give the last percentage over boost. And you know what, just for the fun of it, it's good because you did me the way it was here. I'm gonna hit you with everything. Absolutely everything imaginable under the sun is what you're about to get slapped by. Ha ha ha. Perfect, and then she takes a nap. Damn, she got a lot of NP back for that, I just realized. Shiny ass head as well. Ooh, got these done. Got a little bit more there. Cool, cool. Let's see. Here. Thank you. I can go to the event shop. 
Let's see what I need from here. I need to get all these stuff, but most important, I need to get these Liz copies. This will help out immensely. Thank you. But now I need to get the dragon one. Oh boy, this is where the actual grinding for this event really starts. When you stare the barrel, the, the, the barrel down at it and you go like, man, this is a lot. I can take these for now. Thank you. Not oh wait, I forgot. I was saving these for these here. <laughs> it's fine. I'll get them eventually. Uh, not skill. Go to. There we go. Go here. Go here. Go here. And level up. Nice. Just one last one to pick up, and then I'll be good for that. And then I'll start building towards it. Yeah, I'm, I'm really curious what I'll end up using. I feel like I have to use some kind of crit-based team. Or some... I feel like it has to probably do with... I'll probably have to end up using Summer Scotty. Just because the team generates so much. Am I really just going to lean back to <laughs> what worked for me the first time? I think it's a little bit different here, though. Just because... Himiko doesn't have that bonus to help her out. And she doesn't have bonus... Actually, does she? Oops. Went too far back. It's this guy first. The three-headed guard dog? Is the three-headed guard dog actually demonic? Now that I... He does come from, in theory, Hades. So he very might well be... Let me see. Let me check on the free quests. I can fact check myself that easily. The three-headed guard dog has... He is demonic! And he has a mean to pigify, and he has mechanical, and he has super large, and he has... Wild beast as a trait. Let me see. Demonic, I can definitely use... Himiko then. Because Himiko has that bonus. Uh, where are you, girl? There you are. So that means she would get the bonus 50% uh, against demonic dudes. <coughs> Excuse me. Hmm. Something to think about for sure. Plus the increase to party's buster performance, and I can work around that. I could also try super large. I think I have someone that has anti super large. Yeah, it would be Don Quixote. Don Quixote does 150% extra damage, I believe. Yes, he does. So maybe it would be Dawn would be the way? Dawn on the first turn, but then... Hmm... It's a lot to think about. That much is for sure. Can Don Quixote, without any added benefits, take down this giant windmill? I'll have to look into it. But either way... That's the end of the video for now. Thank you very much, everyone, for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. As whatever it may be, because now there's spooky videos going up or Fago videos up. And hell, I might even release another ZZZ video just because I like playing ZZZ. So I may as well. Zenla Zone Zero. If I'm going to be playing it off, <laughs> off screen, I may as well record it and use it as an excuse to be like, here you go. Check this out. But anyway, until next time, everyone, I wish you all the best of luck and enjoy the spooky seasons. Until next time, peace out. Bye-bye.